I'm at a point in my life where all I want to do is watch Julie and the Phantoms on repeat. Is this a thing? Are we struggling? Or is it just me? Hello everybody, welcome back to Making It Up. I'm Isa. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I'm here every single week. Um, if you're not new, what's up? Welcome back to the chaos that is my channel. <laughs> the weather outside is gloomy. My skin reflects that. I've been probably having the worst skin year of my life. 21 just really like, there was me, the truck, ran me over. It was bad. Mostly it has been because of wearing masks and the whole situation. Obviously we all know at this point about mask knee. We've all probably experienced it. If at this point of your life you haven't experienced mask knee, I do not like you. But I've done a bunch of videos on skincare in the past few months because I started really getting into skincare because my skin started being an asshole. So since the pandemic started, I've been just really trying out a bunch of products. I've mostly just been buying skincare products that help me battle my mask knee. I have oilier combination skin. So it's been a struggle for me. My skin has gotten irritated. I've been getting a lot of weird breakouts. So I've been literally trying everything under the sun to help me and my skin out. And I've definitely found some products that have helped, some ingredients that have been magic for my skin. And that's what I want to share with you guys today because I know I'm not the only one that's been struggling. If you're looking for some new skincare, battling with some problem skin, I got you covered. Let's get to talking about some products. Up first, we have the Paula's Choice Clear Pore Normalizing Cleanser. This is for blemish-prone skin. I've talked about this before, you guys, in other videos. I think I even featured it in a favorites. I love this so much. I got this when I started getting really bad clogged pores. I started getting really, really bad blackheads around my nose and started getting some blemishes around my this area. So I was like, you know what? We need some help. And this is a BHA, it has salicylic acid, and that is proven to work with blemish-prone skin. It is very, very gentle. So even though it's a BHA, I don't really have like sensitive skin. My skin's a little bit reactive, but this, I can use it every single day, no problem. I do kind of alternate, but for the most part of the week, like uh, almost every single day, I use this and I've had no problems, no irritation, no overly dry skin. It doesn't strip anything. It is really, really good and it's just effective. It's exactly what I need. The longer that I've been using it, I've been able to notice how it's really helped my skin and uh, how it's kept it more balanced and it's just really really good. It's probably the best salicylic acid cleanser that I've ever tried and I think if you want to start using BHAs or anything like that but your skin is more sensitive, starting with something like a cleanser might be a good idea because you don't keep this on your skin for too long so your skin's not going to react the same as if you were just to apply something and leave it on your skin, you know? So up next I have a new brand for me. This is Athia Skin and this is the Exfoliating Probiotic Clay Cleanser Oxygenated Detox treatment. Let me just tell you guys, I was not expecting this to be as good and effective as it is. So this is an exfoliating probiotic clay cleanser. So it has this like little thing that you like push, product comes out, so it's well kept in there. And when it comes out, you apply it on your wet skin and you leave it on for a minute and it starts like bubbling up like that bubbling mask and that's just oxygenating and then you rub it in, you rinse it out and it leaves your skin feeling really nice. But it also brings out the impurities in your pores because of the Play. It has been very gentle. You could also use this as a mask, but for the most part, I've been loving it as a cleanser. It also smells really, really good. If you're not, again, into chemical exfoliants, if you have super sensitive skin, something like this could be great because clay is also going to help out draw the impurities from your pores and exfoliate a little bit. And it's really cool. It's a, it's a cool product from a newer brand, and I'm really excited that I have it. It's very unique. I have nothing else like this in my collection, and it's it's been working well. I use it like once a week and it's just made a good difference in my skin. Up next, we have the Verse Doctor's Visit Instant Resurfacing Mask. This is a newer product to me. I got it about a month ago and I've been slowly incorporated it into my routine and I love it. This is an AHA BHA Complex Plus Pineapple Enzymes Mask. So it's a chemical exfoliating mask. Because it combines AHA, BHA, and pineapple enzymes, it sounds like it could be extreme, but honestly, it is very gentle on my skin. Skin. Whenever I do use 
AHA or BHA more topically. I do feel it a little bit on my skin. Obviously, it kind of tingles. It does with this, but it isn't extreme. It doesn't feel like burning. It's just kind of like little taps on your skin. I don't know how to explain it. You put this on, leave it on for three minutes and rinse it off. It is really nice. And when I take it off, my skin feels so so soft it literally just gets rid of all the dead skin cells it's insane i've been using this once a week for the past few weeks and i have really noticed my skin get a little bit better it's a little bit more exfoliated and i feel like once a week is good it doesn't really irritate my skin or anything it doesn't leave it super red afterwards i do see a little bit of redness but for the most part so so gentle and also super affordable up next we have the good molecules niacinamide brightening toner this is niacinamide vitamin c arbutin or arbutin I don't know and licorice root extract and it's meant to brighten and improve the appearance of enlarged pores niacinamide and vitamin c two of my favorite ingredients right there I've been using this for a few weeks again this is a newer product for me but I have noticed the difference I use this every single morning perfect for daily use at least for me the ingredients aren't harsh so I think even people with more sensitive skin could use this more regularly it's um, kind of like a mix between water and like serum. It is a little, has a little bit like a bounce, but it's very easy to use. I just like to apply to my hands and then pat it on. You could also use the cotton pad and, you know, do that. Sometimes I use this instead of just washing my face in the morning if I feel like I don't really have anything to wash and it'll, you know, just get rid of any oily residue and just set me up for greatness for my day, honestly. It's such a great first step. It really does help. I find that since I started using this, it's helped my other products that I put on top just sink in better into my skin as well. I've noticed just a bigger difference since I started using this on my skin. Everything's a little brighter and the pores are a little tighter, which is, you know, I've never been like super big on toners, but this one has been helping out a lot and it's also affordable. So up next, I have a vitamin C. I have been using the Acure Brightening Vitamin C and Ferulic Acid Oil-Free Serum. This has, yeah, vitamin C, ferulic, pineapple, and matcha tea. I started using vitamin C because I was getting a lot of acne scarring. I was obviously picking at my pimples and my blemishes because I have no self-control and I know vitamin C is good for that. So I decided to go for this one. Acure is a good brand. I find that their products work for me and they're also really affordable. This was like less than $15. And I think my favorite thing about this serum is not only like the combination of the ingredients works really well to brighten my skin and slowly improve my discoloration but also it's an oil-free serum so I love to use it daily it is perfect under my makeup because I have combination skin this doesn't add like an extra layer of oil it is actually kind of mattifying which is weird but it just works the only thing I don't love about this is the smell it smells kind of like if you've ever smelled like pawpaw ointment it kind of smells like that because of the enzymes I think but other than that it's great I look past the smell because it has been really brightening my skin and I feel like overall the look of my skin is more even as well which is exactly what I wanted and vitamin C is an ingredient that I always want to have in my skincare routine despite having a lot of blemishes or not I think is a great ingredient and this product is a great one if you're just starting out with vitamin C or you want something affordable this is good. Up next, I have probably like one of my favorite skincare products I have ever discovered. This is the Naturium Niacinamide Serum 12% plus Zinc 2%. Naturium is such a great brand. They have amazing products, great quality for a fair price. I love Naturium. And this, oh my god, I've been using it for a few months and it's completely changed my skin. The Niacinamide and the Zinc together just are a perfect combo. Niacinamide really helps, again, a little bit with discoloration, but with clogged pores, with blemishes, and the Zinc really helps control the sebum. So it's perfect if you have oilier combo skin, but I think drier skin types could also love this because it also has hyaluronic acid and vitamin E so it feels very nourishing when you apply it. I've been using this once daily. It does not irritate my skin at all. It's just perfect. It feels great. I've noticed the difference on my skin. I notice my pores are smaller. They're a lot cleaner. I'm not struggling with blackheads that much. I haven't been relying on the chemical exfoliants to just clear out my pores because if I did that my skin would be totally stripped. I've tried it before. Do not recommend. So niacinamide is such a great ingredient to help you out with that and also do it gently so this is just such a hero hero product my skin is way less textured 
That is the tongue twister, but I used to have like really bad texture on my cheeks. I have like a weird patch over here. That's gone. It's dead. If you only want to try one thing from this whole video or you're interested in like one ingredient, nice and mighty guys. It's so good. It will save you, trust me. Up next, I have another Naturium product. This is the Retinol Serum 2.5%. I decided to incorporate retinol into my skincare because I hadn't done it yet. I know I'm super young, but apart from being anti-aging, this is also really good to help with texture and acne, which is something that I've been battling with, as I've mentioned before. This also has hyaluronic acid and vitamin E, so it's really nourishing on my skin. I've only been using it once a week because it can be super potent, right? Retinol is supposed to be a slow process, and I've been doing that with this one. So far, so good. The morning after I use the retinol, my skin looks so smooth and just like it looks like I literally shed my skin and have new skin it's really really effective it definitely does tingle a little, little bit when I use it but it's all good the only thing I don't like about this firstly the texture it's a little bit hard to come out because it's kind of it isn't liquidy it's a little bit more like jelly the other thing I don't love the scent it's this smells like puke and I know that retinol isn't supposed to smell good but this is a blend of um retinols and bakuchiol so it's like the retinol alternative and retinols combined together in a product that smells like puke but makes your skin look really really nice it doesn't irritate any active breakouts that I have it slowly heals them as well it helps with the scarring a lot so this is good it's a good one and I am so excited I am definitely going to start using it more it has made a big difference you guys and I was a little skeptical to start using it I was a little scared but this has been so so good for my skin the next product that I have is the Bioderma Ultra Soothing Balm. This is for very dry, irritated to a topic sensitive skin. I'm not any of those things, but listen to me. Whenever I use my mask for long periods of time, like when I was traveling, I had to use it from the time that I went into the airport till I was like out in my final destination. So that was hours of hours of having like a mask and it does irritate my skin. I get like little rashy bumps and it's red and it's textured and it's irritated and it's so bad, I hate it. That's where this comes in. Whenever I have that, I just apply a little bit of this to, it's mostly like around my mouth and chin area. I just apply it and it's like magic. It really soothes it. it takes away all the redness and the bumps slowly like dissipate. It's incredible. And another thing that I love about it, it isn't just good for my rash areas. If I'm feeling especially dry or maybe I use a retinol and my skin's feeling, you know, a little bit redder and more sensitive because of that, I go in with this as my nighttime moisturizer and it also works really, really well. I have combo skin and this hasn't clogged my pores or anything. It is really good and I find that this has just been a really, really nice product. It's something that I never thought I'd try but it's so good. It's so lightweight. It doesn't feel oily, but it moisturizes and it soothes the skin. It is just a lifesaver. If you've been suffering from like really bad rashes or you've been irritated because of masks, this is such a good product. If you've been overdoing it with your chemical exfoliants, go in with this or something like this because it re repairs your skin barrier as well. It has good ingredients. So overall, it's a win-win. It can work for you in many different scenarios. So having something like this in your skincare collection is a good idea. If you guys have I've watched my other skincare videos or favorites videos you guys know I love blue tansy I tried the herbivore one and it did really really good things for my skin especially when it was breaking out a lot and I didn't want to be overly harsh with it I got the Acure again the cure seriously soothing blue tansy night oil it's literally the exact same as a herbivore one so if you like that one but it's too expensive try this one blue tansy is just great for breakouts it kills bacteria and it slowly but surely clears your skin without being harsh at all I only use this once or twice a week. I use it at night. I put it on before my moisturizer so this can work, you know, be completely effective. And I really love it. It is an oil. It can be a little bit heavy if you have oilier skin, but it has been doing great things for my skin. As I mentioned, it slowly but surely clears out my blemishes and also it helps with the texture. It isn't something that you're going to see results overnight. You have to use it for a while, but over the past few months that I've been using it, I've noticed how much more controlled my acne has been and it's partly thanks to this and it's so good. Again, Acure is a very affordable brand. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but if you're into blue tansy oil or you're looking for something that'll work for a more sensitive skin type to clear up blemishes, give this one a try. It's so good. 
I don't know where I would be without it, to be honest with you. Up next, I have something that isn't physically here with me and I don't know why it's killing me because I can't find it and it's one of my favorite products ever. It's a Coco Kind Turmeric Stick. If I already have the blemishes, you know, if I couldn't control it and the blemishes have popped up, it's time to use Coco Kind Turmeric Stick. I love this because it kills, again, super gentle. We're noticing a pattern, it's super gentle and it kills my blemishes gently. The turmeric also helps a lot with brightening the skin. So I also like to use this on like dark spots or scars or anything. But I think this is super nice because if I have something that's super inflamed, it's super red, it hurts a lot. I apply a little bit of the turmeric stick and it, you know, immediately you can see the redness just disappear and it stops hurting. Also, if it hasn't come to a head, most of the time whenever I apply it, it just disappears. After a few days of just reapplying, it disappears without ever coming to a head. It's a really, really good product. It's a clean product as well. So if you're into that, you know, consider it, but it's also very, very gentle. It has no super harsh ingredients and it just works, you guys, it works. You can also use it as a mask all over your face. I've tried that. And it also helps a lot just brightens overall and helps with the texture and it's kind to your skin and I think that's also another important factor that we should think about whenever we buy our skincare. Another fail-safe product if you already have your blemishes, your acne, whatever, pimple patches. These are Mighty Patch but uh, my favorites are the Cosrx ones. They're the most affordable and they're the most effective. I'm a picker. I pick at my blemishes. I can't help it. I love watching like all the nasties just ooze out of my skin. I know it's not everyone's thing but I like to pick and it's bad because that just leads to scarring. So what I love these for is just whenever I start feeling something coming out, I apply it. And immediately that creates kind of like a cocoon for your blemish. Nothing comes in, nothing leaves. Some of these, uh, depending on the ones that you buy, are medicated. Some of them aren't, they just are meant to just get the gunk out of it without being painful and leaving scars. You can also wear them under your masks. They keep me from picking at them. So if I go and I have a pimple here and I start touching it, but I have this on, I won't get all the bacteria on my finger into my affected area because this is protecting it. Overall, pimple patches, if you haven't tried them yet, they're lifesavers. They are so good. You know what? There's just something that everyone should have in their collection. I don't care who you are. Pimple patches are gonna be good for you. Trust me. Last but not least is a miracle product for mask knee. I know all of you have heard heard about it. It's the Tower 28 Daily Rescue Facial Spray. I have this tiny one. I haven't been, been able to stock up because it's sold out everywhere, but this has an ingredient in it. I don't know what the ingredient is, but it is a lifesaver. If you have irritated skin at any given point, moment of your day you just spritz a few spritzes of this and boom your skin isn't irritated anymore especially when you're wearing masks i tested it out it works if you're wearing masks for a long time just remove your mask spray it a little bit and immediately your skin will feel so much better this also kills bacteria so if there's a lot of bacteria harboring there and you spray it it'll minimize the chance of getting a lot of breakouts i've also sprayed this directly on my mask to kill the bacteria on my mask and when I started doing this versus when I didn't, my skin feels a little bit less irritated and I haven't been dealing with as many breakouts as I was before this. So this spray is so good. If you have irritated skin in general, if you have sensitive skin, you need this. But if you've been dealing with really irritated, rashy skin because of mask knee, boom, you need it. You need it. You can get like the travel one to keep in your purse and then have a huge one at home, okay? That's what we all need. These are all the products that I've been using to battle my mask knee and return my skin to its glory days. I don't know if that's ever gonna happen, but these products have been helping me a lot. Again, I don't use this every single day, all of them every single day. I alternate between them and that's how I get the best results. If you guys have any products that you've been using that have been helping with your mask knee, please leave them down below. I'm always up for trying new things. And uh, if you have a different skin type than I do, also let me know what you've been using so maybe somebody else can benefit from your comment. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And if you're into super easy and real makeup and beauty content like today's video, then please make sure to subscribe. I'd appreciate it a lot and you'd be getting cool videos every single week so subscribe thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video i hope it was helpful i hope you learned something new i hope you learned about a few products that might help your skin out and i hope you had fun i will see you guys in my next one okay bye everybody Mwah!